we always had a lot of female artists and what's interesting is also that five years ago it wasn't even a topic. Karma International is located in Zurich at Weststrasse, which is a Kreis 3. And we have a second space in Los Angeles, which is in Mid-City on uh, West Washington Boulevard. I think Zurich is a great city to work from, to, to live in, because it's small, it's very easy, it has a very high quality of living, and yet it's an international city. And Especially for art, if you compare Zurich with other cities the same size, I think it's a very culturally rich place, which I love. Karma International started when Marina and I were both writing our PhDs in Zurich. And we decided that we wanted to curate in the city on a non-for-profit level, because we felt that was something that was lacking at the time. And after two years of running a non-for-profit, we felt that there was a need to turn it into a gallery for us, but mostly also for the artists. Finding a new artist is always like falling in love a little bit, so that is definitely a big excitement. Where we grew up, Carolina and me, in Zurich, it was always like a huge tradition of women who uh, worked in the art field, like Jacqueline Burkhardt, Pippi Lotti Rist, Sylvie Fleury. There are many very strong women who also built the landscape of Zurich. And I think it's still today um, very common. Our program reflects a bit our identity of the past 10 years. We started with our generation and then we linked it with uh, older generations, also more established artists like Sylvie Fleury, Markus Oehlen, Judy Bernstein and added as well estates with Xanti Schawinski we work with now recently Merit Oppenheim. I always say building a program is kind of like building a puzzle. You're always looking for the next piece. And I think with our program, it really worked out that everybody's inspired by everybody. And artists are looking at each other and talking to each other. Both spaces, Zurich and LA, are in a very strong dialogue. We show the same artists there and we try to create this bridge between the two spaces. I think the secret of a successful collaboration is that you're both triggered by the same, that you're both uh, put the same enthusiasm and effort. There's no, no set roles, there's not one thing that I do that she doesn't do. But I think we have different energies and we have somehow different ways of approaching certain problems or challenges and we complement each other really well. What's uh, fantastic is that we have the same taste, so we never have to argue about matters of taste. Yeah, FedEx is coming. <laughs> Hello.